everybody. It's your boy, O'Shane Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk Demo Mary J Music. So, guys, we know it's been a crazy week here in the black celebrity sphere. I mean, we have Michael B. Jordan breaking up with Lori Harvey. We had Nick Cannon getting like four more chicks pregnant. And then obviously we got the NBA finals. Now, you know, I'm from Cali, uh, Sacramento to be exact. My Kings ain't playing, but you know what? We got to root for the next closest team, the Golden State Warriors. And my boy, Steph Curry had an amazing game in game four, beating the Boston Celtics, tying the series two to two. But he wasn't necessarily the talk of the town that night or last night, to be exact. Um, Dale Curry was. Now, if you guys remember, Dale Curry was an excellent NBA player himself, especially those from the 90s. We all remember Dale Curry with the flat top hitting the threes. He didn't play no defense, but our boy was all right. He was an excellent shooter. But you know what? Steph Curry, he was at the game. And right next to the lady, or to him, was a... Uh, white lady with blonde hair now stop the show this seems to be you know his new love interest and i already started hearing people rap roasting her uh angry music ah she ain't even that cute she don't even look that good his 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 wife sonia curry look way better so let me let me kind of talk about that right because i mean yeah she's an older lady Caucasian lady and you can kind of tell maybe like in her younger years she was looking like the truth um but that's not why she's there all right and I want to talk about that because obviously you know Dale Curry you know he can still get it in with the younger chicks and stuff like that but see everything is not always about looks because we know that Dale can still pull I mean he was getting IG models numbers and shit like that at games but see, the reason why she's there is she has okay looks. I mean, maybe similar to Sonya Curry, but she knows how to act. And see, this is what I've been talking about a lot on this channel. Every woman believes that everything is about looks or everything is about age. Let me tell you what's number one to a guy who already has a lot of money and already has a lot going on how you act like we even see it right now a lot of guys who are millionaires or have a lot of money their wives are not beauty queens they don't look absolutely the greatest uh but guess what they know how to keep a nice house they know how to keep a nice home and they know how to add value to that guy's life and this is exactly why dale curry is most likely with this particular lady now, I went over to Facebook, right? And I know Facebook is where a lot of the brothers congregate. And a lot of the brothers are saying, hmm, this is interesting. Michael B. Jordan gets dumped um, or breaks up with Lawyer Harvey. And then Dale Curry gets with the white woman the next week. Is this going to be a trend? Are we going to see a lot of these older black men or professional black men shifting from black to white? Because Michael B. Jordan's with Lori Harvey. She's black. And then you had Dale Curry with Sonya Curry, who's also black. Here's what I have to say about that. The guys who have uh, more to lose, your entertainers, your skilled labor guys, your professional degree holder black men, they are going to be with the women that they feel know how to behave as a woman. Whether that woman is black, woman that woman is white or Japanese or any other race. You're just going to see that. Most professional black men or high performing black men are not going to deal with, listen to what I'm saying, women that have terrible or bad attitudes. It's something that's not going to be put up with. And that means even if it's a sacrifice for the looks, let me tell you this, guys who have money have been through a lot of chicks who look absolutely great. Okay. Young, hot body, long term, these ladies might not know how to serve. And yes, I said serve because part of being in a relationship is serving the mate. Men are the ultimate servants, but women got to do their serving part too. And a lot of ladies who are hot, young, and in the prime of their life may not feel that they need to do that, regardless of any race. Listen, a lot of guys are talking about, you know, I'll go and get me a young, um, hot white woman instead of these black chicks. You better listen to the white battles for guys. 
All right, listen to what these guys are saying in the white manosphere. Guys like Twenty One Studios and Anthony uh, uh, Anthony Johnson. Uh, other guys are saying, you know, in the MGTOW spaces, you know, listen, these guys have been complaining about these women before the black men, at, at least publicly, right? So a lot of it's an American issue. A lot of American um, young women have a problem with understanding what their role is. Dale Curry is dealing with this lady. It's obviously that she's older, maybe close to her late 40s or early 50s. But I can guarantee you she has some experience. And this is what a woman needs to have as she gets older. Like, for example, Floyd Mayweather. As Floyd Mayweather got older, he beat people. He had a lot of hand speed still, but he had some injuries. His hand speed wasn't what it was. Uh, his power wasn't what it was because he went up to weight class. How did he beat you? Exceptional skill and boxing wisdom. His skill increased. Look at Kevin Durant. Right now, he's nearly, not nearly the athlete he was when he first came into the league. But Kevin Durant can beat you a lot of different ways. Even Kobe Bryant talked about that before he passed. That he just worked on certain things that became skill. You just couldn't stop the guy. You want to go left. You want to go right. You know what I'm saying? He worked on the things he was bad at. Here's what happens with a lot of young women. They're kind of like the athletes, you know, in the gym that we used to know we come up with. They can jump out the gym. The guys can just dunk everywhere like Harold Miner, remember him? But they can't play. They can't shoot. They can't defend. They don't understand the game, how the game works. And then once that athleticism leaves, they can't play in the league anymore. And see, a tell, uh, uh, you can tell a good trace in a good woman because a good woman will pick up those skills that will keep her in the game even in her later ages because she'll always be able to get some kind of quality of a man because she is a good cook, she's a good organizer, she's submissive, she knows how to handle things, she's an asset to a man. And see, that's what Dale is dealing with. He's not just dealing with a bill. A lot of hot chicks, and don't get me wrong, I like hot chicks like anybody else, but are they a constitutive bill? Hell yes, they can be that. Absolutely. You're looking for a woman, if you've had access to hot chicks all the time, you're looking for a woman you can talk to sometimes. Have some permanent interest. A woman that helps your life better, that takes care of you. You see, those are skills that a lot of women in today's generation may be lacking. This is the reason why he's with this older lady, because I can guarantee you that's what he's getting. And also, booty clapping sounds. <laughs> he might be knocking the box out of that thing, and you know who he is. So that's what I'm thinking. But are we going to see a lot more black men going this way? Um, I do think so, because, you know, I see a lot of brothers, even in the middle class, you know, uh, you might see them in Walmart and, you know, the woman is not looking the best, but I can guarantee you, that at his house, he might be getting treated real nice. Food on the table, he's not washing dishes. Um, life organized, she's not spending the money as much. She's not problematic. And there's nothing wrong with dating an average looking woman in black America or in white America, as long as her attitude and her personality and what she has to offer is elite. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again another episode of the celebrity junk i appreciate you for all that you do subscribe at the bell check out the first clip at the top and as you know the buffoon remains at all time high i'm out <laughs>